Hello everyone, and welcome to Barbie Super Sports. We will be engaging in our annual Valentine's Day tradition by playing yet another treasure in the Barbie gaming franchise. Today it will be Barbie Super Sports for the PlayStation 1. The Barbie doll likeness and character and the color Barbie pink are trademarked and copyrighted. Keep that in mind as you enjoy some great Mattel Media products created by well-loved developer Runecraft, who has also made some of the other Barbie games for the PlayStation 1. This game has a lot of loading screens. I'm going to be cutting out a lot of it, because it's just a lot of nothing. But let's enjoy the show first with this nice pre-rendered cutscene. That shows you what's gonna happen. Hi, I'm Barbie. My friends and I have been practicing all year in the sun and snow to get ready for the Super Sports competition. We really hope we can win the grand prize. We can beat the clock in radical races, have fun with hot city skating, and cool alpine boarding. So come on, everybody, let's go! I think the most notable part of that was the transition between snowboarding and s skating. But that's the kind of transitions you can expect in this excellent game. I will see you in the main menu. Welcome to, Barbie Welcome to the main menu. From here, when we switch crest, between crest, options, crest, Barbie will say a different thing a each press, time. Press, 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 we will hear none of it, probably. Here. Here's where you can choose to play. I actually don't know what two-player mode is like in this game, but I assume it's excellent. One, use your controller to choose a character. I can choose between Barbie, Christy, Teresa, and Kira. I have really no preference, so let's play as Teresa. And start the game. Enter your name by highlighting the Let's enter our real name. And click on OK. To get started with the decision process of whether we want to go inline skating or snowboarding. Let's start with snowboarding. We can switch between sports um, at any point, but interestingly enough, you lose all progress in the other sport where you do so. So that's nice. We're starting with snowboarding. What a cool shop! Player one. It's your turn to do some shopping. It is player one's turn to do some shopping, but first we're going to go to the stereo system where we can pick the music that plays during the snowboarding process. There are four songs to choose in between. This screen otherwise is entirely silent, so I will just have one of the songs play as we pick our clothes and so forth. Otherwise it's just a bit too haunting for me. Plus, this drum and bass track really gets you going. Alright. Cool Let's go to the window oh, to look Are at the nice weather that we're having board? during our snowboarding process. There's a tiny bird that looks somewhat like a tennis ball sitting outside. Very good. Let's go buy some clothes instead. Now, as you may notice, this is going slow. Yeah. To try on any new jackets or pants. Let's try out some new pants first. Dress up the doll on the left. We can pick between various when pants. Check out this new outfit. They're all very good. Let's go with green and red. Choose a board from the left to start out with. As you earn more tickets, you'll be able to buy the more expensive snowboard. Don't forget that you can always exchange your old snowboard for extra tickets to help you buy a new board. This board is awesome. This board is awesome. Now, now this board looks like it can really cut some ice. This board can really cut some ice. They're all very expensive. We're almost certainly never going to buy a different snowboard. What a cool board. What, what but at cool, least what a, what a she has a lot of different things to say about the boards. Let's go with green to fit our pants and go get some cool tops. 
When you're done trying on and are happy with your selection, press the X button. All right. Let's go pick a nice outfit that goes with our green other things. Perfect. Let's go snowboard. Welcome to the bunny slope. You can ski down the slope as many times as you want. To get back to the top, use the chairlift. You can try out some cool tricks on your way down. When you're ready to play a level, go to the top of the slope and board through one of the entrances. So starting off, we can go into a level or we can go down the practice arena over here. We can destroy balloons, awesome. do cool jumps, pick up half tickets half. that you can cool. use to See gain points and other section. such things. We can do a slalom that's ultimately inconsequential. And before you know it, we reach the snowman which we destroy for points and we can choose to go back up using the chairlift to go back inside the shop where we can buy more cool things or alternatively pick the third non-mentioned option which is defy the laws of gravity and just go back up. It's obviously not the quickest way to go about things but it's effective. You'd think eventually you'd reach a steeper part and it's going to be impossible. No, it'll slow you down. But Teresa does not stop for things like snow, steep hills, or such things. She just goes. It's the same for all the other characters. I think you go a little bit quicker with the more expensive snowboards. But either way, it's an effective choice to go back upstairs. Now every time you do a level, we're going to go back here and it'll play the tutorial audio again, so that's great. I will also be switching the music secretly in the background every time we go to a different level. But for now, let's start off with balloons. Balloon run. This is the balloon run level. You'll get points for catching the pink balloons, but you'll lose points if you catch a blue balloon by mistake. Good luck! Every time the tutorial audio plays, it also just... like... It, it's completely stopping you in your tracks, try but you can still turn around. Any blue balloons. But try not to catch any blue balloons. Alright, let's go, See let's go play the actual game. You can catch. Every now and then Barbie reminds you of what the goal of this is. But fortunately, because you can't go backwards like that, you can make some mistakes. If we pick up a blue balloon now, we're in the negative amounts of points. That's obviously not a place try where we'd to like to be. But fortunately, Barbie's here yeah. to remind us of that fact repeatedly. The jumps are interesting. Um, <laughs> the moment you touch the slope, you go full speed upwards. Try not to catch any which is an interesting experience because it makes the whole situation more or less uncontrollable. But, you know, sometimes you need to, to make life a little bit more interesting. And, and that's what this game does by surprising you at every turn. There's a lot of different directions you can go into, so that's exciting. And before you know it, you're at the bottom of the hill. You've got your 150 points that I told you about at the start. And everyone's having a Merry Christmas, judging from these various Christmas decorated Christmas trees on my right here. All in all, it's just incredibly intense. And we've made it through the balloon ride. As you can see, we have three gray icons. These are the things we need to collect to enter the last level of each area. The snowboard or the inline skating area. As you can see, we collected none of the three things, but we'll get them. Welcome to the bunny. Slope. All right, we're back up here. So now that we have finished the balloon ride, obviously the next place we're gonna go is balloon run. the balloon run. Okay, this time you'll need to collect some more points and beat the clock. If you make it, you'll win the golden hat, which is one of the keys that unlocks the final level. So you might call it not entirely intuitive that you'd have to re-enter the level with no real indication that anything has changed but that's this game just likes to throw you for a loop makes to keep you makes you on edge keeps you on edge you, you get it it's uh, it's a thrill ride that's this game it just keeps surprising it's incredible and that's what that's what super sports is all about it's about living the dream featuring barbie and or teresa from barbie fame Interestingly enough, only Barbie's likeness and Barbie Pink were copyrighted according to the start of the screen. So I'm not actually sure if you could 
effectively make your own Teresa games or not. And I'm not a lawyer, but I can make great assumptions instead. And that usually gets you to the place where you need to be. The timer is actually pretty tight, but the moment you actually hit the 200 points, the, you, uh, yeah, the timer stops entirely, so that's nice. Also, the level doesn't actually end until you physically leave. I also don't know if it actually doesn't give you the hat if you don't pick it up, if you just skate around it, but it would be an interesting thing if it just made you lose. We have acquired the golden hat. Only two items remain. Alright. We're back at the shop. Let us quickly buy some new clothes. The clothes, interestingly enough, don't actually cost anything, so I can just go completely willy-nilly and just keep switching between outfits real quick, so... That's lovely. Let's sell our silly board. 140 coins, now we can buy... ...this thing. It looks incredible. Obviously, we need to get some colors that match our pants, so let's go with... ...this. Perfect. Back we go. Welcome to the bunny slope. Welcome to the you bunny slope, everyone. Today we are going to the snowman level. Snowman sma also known as snowman sma. This is the snowman smash level. Earn points by smashing through all the snowmen on the way to the finish line. The number of points you'll need is shown on the screen. Now one could argue that they have enough room to put the 300 point requirement at the top of the screen. But don't forget to look out for the secret ice tunnel, because it's there. And it is valuable to your experience in destroying the snowman game. Now, we unfortunately missed the path to the snowman cave earlier. Uh, fortunately, uh, this level is technically speaking entirely flat, so we can break all the rules. Because these things are worth double points. And that's just great. Theoretically, if you so desired, you could destroy every single snowman in this place to get maximum points. But I think that's a level of intensity I'm just not quite ready for. Moving onwards. Try to avoid the obstacles. There's not really any obstacles, but try to avoid them anyway. Make your own game. You can make your own rules when you play Barbie Super Sports. It really doesn't matter too much. As long as you believe in yourself, you can do anything. You may have seen a secret cape over there in the distance once again, and also delivering double points. But if we so desired to actually go in there... Again, there are no rules. Except that these edges are a little bit finicky and generally don't want to work with you when you actually try to go into the thing like this. But fortunately it works like that from the other direction as well. It's, it's really just... It doesn't want you to go into the secret cave. But that's okay. We have acquired the points nonetheless. We are almost at the 300 points requirement with our 520 points. And with that, we can cross the finish line, call it a win. And again, we didn't actually get anything for that except for points, which... I mean, we got a lot of points, so that's good. But we knew we still need one of the two remaining items. Welcome to the bunny... So obviously, let's do the more sensible thing and once again play Snowman Sma. Snowman Sma. You were great. Now you need to beat the clock and collect even more points this time. If you do, you'll win the golden gem, which is one of the keys that unlocks the final level. Now I for one want the golden gem for my own purposes, but being able to enter the final Imagine level with Snowman it as well is, so much fun. is obviously quite great also. Now, one could argue that when you go over one of the cool. jump slopes that you're not actually jumping off of the slope, but you're jumping afterwards. That's just how Teresa does things. That You can't put rules in a game like this. You gotta keep it open and fresh. And that's what this game is all about. It's about finding your own adventures. And sometimes when you're snowboarding, you just want to smash through every single snowman. Don't do that in real life. It will get you injured almost certainly, but like... This is the fantasy that people are looking for in their Barbie adventures. They just want to smash through some snowmen that are all over the place. You might also notice, at least I only just figured that out, it has two faces. 
I hadn't actually noticed that before, but fair enough. Why wouldn't you make your snowman two-faced? We have acquired the golden gem. Cool. Let's go make it's sure the done. bird is still doing Are okay. Are you ready to go outside and board? The bird seems to be doing adequately. Excellent. We're done trying now our obviously we need to be dressed appropriately for the third level, so let's go with cowboy yellow and red. Cheers as opposed to snowboard whatever what colors cool, I just cool, had. Cool. Let's sell back this board, now this board looks like it can buy now this, now the this most board, expensive whoa, red and green really board fast. available and get some tops when you're done to go with on, this. With Perfect. Shopping is, so much fun. Shopping is so much fun. Welcome to the bunny slope. All right, back to the bunny slope. Let's go to level number three. Alpine slalom. Alpine slalom. This is the alpine race level. Try to be the first across the finish line. If you come first, you'll win a golden balloon, which is one of the keys that unlocks the final level. Come on, let's race. Ready, set, go! For some reason, Barbie Super Sports you, rule. you don't need to do this one twice. So that's good. Race you to the bottom. Plus we got the fastest snowboard available. So we're just faster. Race you to the bottom. If you miss one of the flags, uh, you lose 10 seconds on your timer. And if you have a cheaper board, the Barbie will occasionally say, Oh, if only I had a more expensive board. It is, it is not very difficult with the cheapest board. But it's a little bit faster this way, so that's nice. So Christy missed one flag, so we were 10 seconds faster than Christy. Sometimes they just miss like five, but... Today, Christy was feeling it, but we're still faster than anyone on this slope. Welcome to the bunny. All right, the final level has now been opened. Ice river. The Ice River. This is the Ice River. You need to collect the number of points shown on the screen by picking up gems. That's it. That's all you're getting. You gotta pick up gems on the Ice River. We once again have an entirely Let's flat track. We got different routes. Speed. We got blue ice that make you go faster for a bit. What a dream. Finally, we're going fast. We're trying not to hit any obstacles that will just stop us in our tracks. You can't really fall. That's good. Just like in real skateboarding. There is uh, some boats here also. This is the ice river after all, so you have to assume that there's going to be some boats on this place as well. Some bridges above you that go quite high. But we're just trying to get 300 points. The timer has already stopped because we reached the 300 point limit. So we can just take our time, have some fun here, check out the nearby scenery like this building. Boat. Let's move on. The nice thing about the quick uh, snowboard, I keep calling it a skateboard. The nice thing about the quick snowboard is that you win quickly. Was so cool. Good job. We did it. We have completed the snowboarding section of Barbie Super Sports. Welcome to the bunny slope. With all of our power, we can now enter every level we want. But there's really not much left to do in the Barbie snowboard world. So we can either choose uh, game paused to go to our sports selection and switch to inline skating or we can repeat one of the existing levels. Balloon run. This is now the tutorial of the balloon run level. It tells you how to leave. So let us follow this tutorial. Let's go do some inline skating. Choose which cool sport you want to play. Inline skating or snowboarding. Press the X button to go snowboarding. Press the X button to go inline skating. Let's go inline skating. Wave goodbye to our snowboarding progress and move on with the what game. A cool shop. Player one, it's your turn to do some shopping. To confirm your choice, press the X button 
We have once again found an excellent shop where we can do our purchasing options. Once, once more, there is a nice jukebox on the side here. Where we can listen to some jamming tunes. Time to do some purchasing. To try on any Let's try out some new shorts. On the side here. We can choose between various colors. They all look incredible. Check out this new the obvious choice. Choose a pair of skates from the left. These, these Same these thing applies. 450 these tickets to get are. skates. Uh, these, You've these, been these facetious. Cool. Let's these pick some cool pink skates, skates to go with our pink shorts. We Perfect. A wonderful color combination. First, Shopping let us go back. So because obviously one cannot go inline skating. To try on without proper preparation. Shorts. We must go even further back than this. We must go cool to the right, where previously we saw a window with a small bird on the side. This time around, there is the drinking fountain. Perfect. I am nourished. Let us play some inline skating. Welcome to the practice area. If you skate around the edge, you can see all the cool skate parks that are in this game. You'll need to win the keys in the three open levels in order to unlock the final level and win the grand prize. Come on, let's get going. Let's get going. And with our inline skates, you can see we have entered an entirely different game. Somehow, because this game is all about versatility. Ver versatile, yeah, it's about Come difference. On and changes that we can do some tricks we have uh, only the d-pad at our disposal when it comes to buttons but also we can zoom in and out so that's fun I actually haven't tried that with the snowboarding one I now realize so I feel like I must actually try this out now but we can actually go backwards look at that excellent when you know I've, I'm gonna be honest I have not tried the inline skating part of this game at all but we shall see what kind of cool things await us in the clown level. You'll need to win the keys in the three open levels in order to unlock the final level. The clown level is our destination. We shall go to the not clown level. And you may think, oh, he's just going backwards now. He's showboating. I'm, I don't really know how to how to go forward <laughs> once you start going backwards. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go over here. City race. What kind of race? This is the race. You need to win the number of points shown on screen to complete this level. Ready, set, go. All right, let's get those 150 points. Suddenly skating backwards has, uh, doesn't have quite the speed as I remember it having earlier. I seem to be going incredibly slow instead, so I guess we're no longer skating backwards. It was a good time. There is still a timer to my right. It doesn't really seem to mean anything. Because it's counting upwards, but you know, you can race yourself. Sometimes you need to be your own challenger. And let's be honest, it's very easy to be your own challenger in most cases, but this game makes it so you really get to think about that one so just keep that in mind and let's keep going now at this point all I can think about is I truly do wonder if the L buttons do anything on the snowboard game as I'm playing this quite honestly entirely different game mode so yeah it really is quite a quite a treat you got two different games in one game like wow we do rule, Teresa. So cool. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if there's different voice acting for each character. We did it. I guess the game just ends when you get everything, that's good. We didn't get any keys. Welcome to the practice area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually a little curious if there even is an end to that whole section, because it, it did seem like there was quite a bit of level still remaining, but... City race. I don't know if there is. Yeah, welcome back. 
This time, you'll need to win even more points before the timer gets to zero. When you're done, you'll collect one of the keys, which unlocks the final level. Ready, set, go! 250 points in 90 seconds. Seems like an impossible task set before me by the video game Barbie Super Sports here, but it's important to do your best, not get tempted by jump pads, which are clearly just there to not let you pick up any tickets and gain those points. She, mention, she mentions a high score, but at the same time, the game ends when you get a certain amount of points. I'm really not sure what that means exactly. Unless she means, like, time is a factor? I suppose that could be possible. I don't really remember how many points I was supposed to get. Was it 150 or 250? But if it's 250, then I am actually a little bit worried about my skating future. Because there just aren't that many points. I mean, I guess in the more tricky path with the slaloms and such, there is quite a bit of points to be gained, but the other side only has tickets to buy new costumes. I... Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I have seemed to run into a predicament if this doesn't give me more points. Never mind, the level actually just keeps going. I'm deliberately not picking up these tickets because I'm curious how long this actually does go on. Because it seems very possible that you just miss one, but... Like, does this loop or does it just go on forever? It's honestly a mystery to me. I should have done more research into this game. I think it's probably important that I actually finish in a second here, though, because I guess the finish line's over here. We didn't get 250 points. And when you don't get 250 points, it doesn't matter that our time wasn't up yet. We're, let, the game just sort of assumes you're not gonna go back and get more points. We gotta do it again. Honestly, I'm a little bit surprised in how different the two game modes in this game are, but... You know, fair enough. I, it's it's unusual to see in a Barbie game, because usually you start with one thing and then that's the game, more or less. So really, this game was ahead of their time. Though I am a little bit confused as to why skating backwards on this track makes you go significantly slower than going forwards. Although sometimes it doesn't. Like, sometimes it just makes you go at a snail's pace, and other times it just... You just go. Maybe you just can't go backwards from the start. And that's where I made my previous mistake. Surely this is a game of mystery. And it's the kind of mystery that I was not yet ready to solve in these uh, current times. But sometimes you run across a Barbie game that's just so enigmatic and before you know it, you've reached a whole new level of puzzledom. To collect as many tickets as we can. I don't fully understand. As, like, <laughs> when you need to get 150 points, it just ends. But now that we get the 250, it, it just keeps going, I guess. Well, if we want to get our 4 million purple tickets in order to buy the coolest so skates, cool. then I suppose we have to. I'm genuinely curious if I don't pick it up, if it just doesn't enter our lives. I have to know. It just gives it to you anyway. There's no purpose in picking up the coin. The whole thing is a lie. Alright, you know what they say. New level. New me. Today's colors are... When you're done trying red. This new outfit. Choose a pair of... Whoa. These skates are cool. Sell We're back these skates. Out. 160 these coins we can buy. These skates are cool. Blue. When you're done trying on, and of course. Press the X Check out this new outfit. No, that doesn't suit these colors at all. Check out this new outfit. Perfect. Welcome to the practice area. Alright. On we go to the next level. Which I assume is in this we corner. Need to get going to earn points. And check out all these cool levels. I don't know what this level is called because Barbie already had a voice line going. Or Teresa. Who knows? There's four small fountains on this level. See if you can turn them all on by jumping up the ramp. That is how I usually turn on a fountain. Let's go get this show on the road. We have found fountain number one. It has a dolphin. Very good. Two dolphins, in fact. I have not yet seen a ramp fully attached to this thing. Also, the objective at the start didn't really seem to mention the, the fountains so much as the points that I had to acquire, I believe. But look at that. 
That was actually the most radical thing that I have possibly ever seen in my whole life. So all in all, I can't really complain. Truthfully, I'm a little bit confused about what to do here. The arrows seem to indicate the possibility of a grind. And look at that. That's called intuitive game design. Having an arrow pointed where you have to go makes it more obvious. And that taught me that I can be as cool as Teresa trying to do a grind with inline skates. I assume that I can probably just do this in real life as well. Like, I, I always struggled on the inline skates whenever I tried. I more or less just fell on my face repeatedly for a series of hours. The game once again just ends when you get the amount of points. I didn't turn on one of the fountains yet. How is the third fountain going to function now that I haven't turned it on, Teresa? My god. Welcome to the practice. I suppose not having the third fountain turned on is a little bit more rebellious than I would otherwise be. And that really is the point of Barbie Super Sports in the end, I suppose. Oriental Gardens. Oriental Gardens. Yeah, welcome back. This time you'll need to win even more points before the timer gets to zero. When you're done, you'll collect one of the keys, which unlocks the final level. Ready, set, go! I recall a time when the voice line specifically said what key we were going to unlock in the video game Barbie Super Sports for the PlayStation 1. But it appears they have gone away from that model of telling you what is going to happen in the future, and it really adds a whole new layer of mystery upon what was already quite a mysterious experience from the get-go. Now, it looked like there were some tickets above that fountain that I most definitely did not pick up. I seem to have just gone through them when I did that jump. But fair enough, let's grab these lanterns and move on. Yeah, I got that one. But I do hope I can find the required amount of points needed to beat this level, because it did seem like an overly high amount of points required. But as Teresa says, this is just the coolest thing ever. And I hope that that level of coolness is going to carry me into victory right here. So far, I'm feeling it. The grinds are actually pretty neat. All, all in all, like, this game's fine, but it's... The amount of loading screens that I'm going to have to cut out at the end of this is uh, pretty much astronomical. There's just a lot of loading going on. For the rest of the game, it's, it's fine. But... It, it's just so rad. And sometimes I just can't contain myself when the levels of Radical just explode like this, especially in a Barbie game. Like, I'm never really prepared for it. Way to go. The, level's com the level's complete is probably the end of that sentence. We have acquired, surprisingly enough, the key and not the lantern in the lantern level. Fair enough. Great team. I'd just like to point out that Barbie just said that if I hold the square or circle button in midair, I'll do a trick. This is what it looks like when I don't do it. You're great. Pretty great. You're great. This is what it looks like when I hold the button. We're a great team. It We're it's varied, team. but all in all. You're great. You're great. Once again, this makes me think about the implications this has for the snowboarding level. Now, obviously, Check out this new, new level, completely different clothes. Choose a pair of skates from the these, these, these skates, skates that cool for just make me go. Whoa, no, can't afford those. Sport. Never mind. Cool skates. When you're done trying on and are happy with your selection, let's go wild. Check out this new outfit. Truly, the biggest change I've ever seen. Welcome to the pre Let us go to the third level of inline skating land. There appears to be <laughs> a thing in the way here. Oh, I have fallen over. <laughs> Apparently, that was an option. Look at We're that. A great team. This is called just mad stunts. We're a great the, um, holding the button to do a stunt doesn't seem to uh, be in effect anymore from this point. 
but I have found the falling mechanic that apparently exists sometimes. <laughs> I'm not sure when. Boardwalk. Boardwalk. This is the boardwalk level. On your first run through, we need to collect the number of points shown on the screen. You can get points by catching balloons. Any extra points are added to your high score at the end of the level. I want to bet you that even though it says Locked we're going to put those extra points in our high score, we are just You're going to be uh, leaving the level immediately. But we'll see. We will see. I am happy with the knowledge that I can do sweet stunts at least. Because that has changed the game somewhat. I am... Oh, the right paths. Right. I was confused by this maze, you see, but I have figured out the pathing to get to the balloons required to get the amount of points needed to beat this level. We're a great team. I guess when you go to the thing diagonally, it has some more difficulty and you most team. likely fall down. Yes, I have figured out how to fall reliably. Unfortunately, not being able to do a diagonal jump We're a great team. means having to be a great team awesome. and having to do four jumps in a row rather than just doing the one diagonal jump. But that's the way it is sometimes. You can't, you can't try to be someone you're not from time to time. Uh, you gotta know your own limits is what this game's telling you. And sometimes that requires a little spin. You know, just like small dogs often do when they're um, a little confused to do a little spin before you know it. They know what's up. We're a great team. But I'll be honest. Awesome. Sometimes I'm failing a trick. Sometimes I'm not. Hey, there's a balloon. Hey, there's a balloon. Let's go for it. That is more We're or less the summary team. of what's happening here. Awesome. We are a great team. Hey, We're a balloon. A great team. Can we beat this level? Was it 300 points? We're a great team. Let's try that again. Look at we that. Look at that freeze frame. Perfect. Let's go do the same level again, because we need to do everything twice for some reason. That's what this song is. Those are the lyrics to the song. Boardwalk. This time, beat the clock and collect more points to complete the level. If you do, you'll win the Golden Lantern, which is one of the keys needed to unlock the final level. Why? Why? This actually bothers me. Why do you get the lantern in the balloon level? But in the lantern level you get a key. Like, that's what... I suppose in the lantern level your sole purpose is destroying all the lanterns and there's just no lantern left to give. Whereas this is the hidden lantern that's hidden in the balloon level in the hope that it doesn't get destroyed by Barbie and her cronies. Unfortunately, um, as you can see, we failed We're a great as we are slowly in the process of yet also destroying this last balloon, last lantern, my apologies. Awesome. Thereby gaining access We're to clown level, which We're I assume is going team. to be a hoot. But we shall see. Perhaps I am making assumptions on an untruth. We will learn as we go over this boardwalk, see things that we had not yet seen before. Hadn't actually gone over the actual boardwalk yet, I'm now realizing. Look at this. It looks like there's some stunt potential here. And water. <laughs> actual, oh wow, awesome. yeah. Just your classic inline skating trick. The jump pad, <laughs> obviously. Let us keep going. Get these remaining tickets try and get to 450 points in the time remaining. I seem to be going significantly faster now that I have touched this jump pad. We're a great team. Which is interesting in a game where your vision is uh, limited, I, I should We're say, I suppose. Team. But ultimately, awesome. this extra speed helped me get hopefully enough points in the allotted amount of time. It's so difficult to go s straight towards one of these ramps. And I might actually be stuck on the ramp now. Never mind. We're okay. Good job. I you guess that's enough points. Up? I thought it was 450 points. I recall it definitely being 450 points that we needed. But hey, we got the lantern. And have we have gained access to 
Clown World. Now, obviously, before we enter Clown World, we must pick an outfit that is sufficiently clown-like. We have to pick clothing that does not even remotely match with one another. And pick skates that feed that same logic. 320 allows us to buy these ridiculous looking skates that do not match our color scheme at all. Let's go. Alright. On to clown land. The circus tent has been opened. I'm struggling to get inside it, but... Figured it out. What a cool level. Try to complete all the stunts and obstacles. I, all right, I guess <laughs> we're just gonna try to complete all stunts and obstacles. And the tutorial was this is how you leave. So I do hope we're going to get our good job trophy for this also. But there is the possibility that this might just be the last thing we see of the inline skating world. Various cardboard cutouts where you can get your picture taken slightly off screen. A ball pit? Question mark. Some cool. cool. Oh, <laughs> one of these things where ordinarily you would shoot them with a gun of some kind. This time around, we are using inline skates to try and hit the obstacles. But we have managed to clear all the obstacles. And I assume that's probably good enough. We will find out soon. Ish. I actually do not know how long this level is, but... I assume we'll find an end somewhere. Oh my god. All right. If that's not the most rad thing you've ever seen, then I don't know what is. I also love the point where the music loops and there's like a clear like... sound. Like it's being played over a walkie-talkie. Let's go... Hit the... All right. That seemed like we did it, right? Cool. Yeah, we hit the bell. We are strong enough. Cool. It makes the bell sound every time. Can I also just go onto it like this? Like, just skate? No, I have to use the clown face. And definitely only from one angle, otherwise it just does nothing. Which is fair enough. You don't want to accidentally leave the stage by trying to jump on the... Strength belt. I made it ring anyway. Never mind. <laughs> Just need to get close to it. Good enough. Perfect. What do we have over here? Lamps. I guess we have already gone here as we uh, cool. went through the loop. It has completely left my memory that that was a thing that happened previously, but fair enough. Onwards to possibly to the last thing. As far as you can. Let's try to jump as far as we can. Try to get that speed. That's how speed works. As far as you can. But I, you don't really accelerate as as in this game. Can. Like, really, the best way to jump as far as possible is not Try doing a stunt. As far as you can. I feel a like a winner there. I'm gonna say that we won that one. Go into the mouth. That's moving a bit wildly. I'm just gonna leave that alone, I think. Try and... What is- what is this? Is this actually a possible place for a grind? So far it's a place to fall onto, possibly because I keep making tiny adjustments. Possibly because it just does not want me to do a sick grind. Is this actually a thing? I actually don't know at this point. Maybe I need to hold a button? It's very... It's difficult to tell when you really need to, like, do something in this game, but... Maybe this is just nothing. This is a very possible possibility there that that's actually not a thing. Or that I need to hit it from this side or something. Because this... This isn't doing anything. <laughs> Do I need to hit it from this side? Maybe that would be absurd. Yeah. It's a complete absurdity. You're being ridiculous. I'll be truthful, I do not know what to do here. This game has eluded me. In the four minutes that I have spent here, I have, uh... Lost all sense of self, I suppose. Can I leave this place by going back to where we started from? I honestly don't know. We can skip the- nope, can't skip the maze, never mind. We have to go back through the maze if we so desire to go back to this place. 
where there is a jumpy castle, and I wish to jump. But I cannot, unfortunately. It is not to be. I suppose I could just try to go through the hole, but that's not really an option in our case, I guess. So once more, perhaps there is something that can be done with the clown thing. Because the other obstacles that we've seen so far were somewhat clown related, but usually there was like a thing next to it that allowed you to interact with it in some way. I do, I do suppose that this level started off with saying, this is how you leave. But still, I have the vague expectation that if you can get a good job trophy for snowboarding, that would be a similar prize for the inline skating variant. I suppose that was really my own fault, making assumptions on a game so whimsical cool. as um, Barbie's Super Sports. I've learned a lesson today, I'd say into managing expectations. But I think I'm just going, if, if I can't figure out anything to do with this clown contraption, then perhaps this may uh, be the end of the game, surprisingly. Because this, it's a mystery to me. What could they have possibly meant with this strange thing? This one's gonna haunt me for a while, I'm afraid. Because I just can't really see a way to interact with this at all. Very unusual. One could argue that this is in fact a puzzle game. And I would. This is the final puzzle where you needed to keep track of all the things that happened in this game, but... All I've learned so far is that I can fall if I slide into it. I'm going to do the one thing that I can think of. And that is pressing the one button that I haven't tried yet, and that is the going backwards button. Ah, yes. That seems about perfect. I can do that. And I think I might... No, but I keep thinking I'm stuck, but it's always like, oh, actually, no. It's always a fun little surprise, and once again, I'm stuck in the... Oh, our... No, sometimes you go backwards. Oh, my goodness. This, this game is just full of tricks. Sometimes you go into backwards skating mode, and other times it's just like, you know what, we just do a spin. Why not? You think you have any control? No. It is only the illusion. Anyway. I'm gonna go, go leave this level, I guess. Uh, at least our points are added to our total points. So that's good. Welcome to the practice area. I'm confused. <laughs> like, cool. I, uh, you know what? Let's just say that there's not. Pink tickets are cool for shopping. Th there's not a good job trophy for inline skating. All right, I figured it out. The trick is to just keep trying it until it works. Um, so I downloaded the manual <laughs> to this game uh, because this game actually has a pretty comprehensive instruction manual. And apparently the goal of this, this level, uh, as it says, is to complete the rail slide, long jump, loop the loop, and knock down the Barbie's B game to win the grand prize. I don't know why this, why the grind wasn't working the whole time. Uh, I tried it many times in a row. It also says that you have to beat the clock in the manual, which is odd because there's no cl real clock to beat. And and also, uh, it calls this level the theme park. This game calls it the carnival. Like I, I think there might have been some miscommunication somewhere along the line. But theoretically, if I hit that B now, uh, we should win. I don't really feel like a winner right now, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of would have expected like a... an end. If, if I'm being perfectly reasonable here, but perhaps... Now that we have done the rail slide and such, perhaps the thing has opened up and it allows us to leave? I still... this is just so inconsistent. I don't understand. Maybe if we pick up all the tickets, 
I just don't know anymore. I just want to figure this out. This game shouldn't be this complicated. <laughs> and yet, here we are. Did I perhaps not do a long enough jump? Is that what happened? All right. There is the possibility that I need to buy more expensive skates in order to actually complete this long jump. Because I feel like I'm not actually reaching the end of it, and I don't know if that's a problem or not. Quite frankly, this game could learn a thing or two when it comes to communicating their ideas with the person playing the game, but it is what it is. Perhaps this grind can only be done from this direction? No, it's just, sometimes it just doesn't work. I don't, I don't understand how I just did it. Maybe I do actually need to hit all of the things in the Barbies hit the B game. Because the manual has already been lying on various subjects. Perhaps I'm just trusting it too much not to also have to hit some of the other targets in this thing. There is still a duckling after all. And it's important that we give the duckling a cool pet. Come on. We did it! We finished. <laughs> Good job. I'm not gonna lie, that would have haunted me if I had not looked up. Genuinely, I looked up people playing this game and I couldn't find a video of people actually beating the level. I looked up the manual afterwards in, in a desperate attempt to try and figure this puzzle out and the manual really gave me the confidence I needed that that long slide was actually a thing. Anyway. I'm gonna go see if the snowboard has cool tricks. All right, so I just once again like to point your attention to the manual. It it definitely says that the buttons do the same thing in all of the different game modes, but I can't use L and R to zoom in and out. But let's let's see if this does anything. I'm not I'm not feeling like I'm doing stunts. I feel lied to. And of all the games that I expected to lie to me, this was at most in the top four. Like, I, I would have, like, you know, there would have definitely been other games, but it wouldn't have been the first, the most lied. Well, that, that was kind of a stunt, I guess. Maybe, maybe the half pipe was just not meant for stunting. Because this, this is clearly just, it's just the same jump over now. Let's go to one of the flat levels, just to be sure. All right, let's see here. This is a regular jump. Cool. Just held on to the nice snowboard. Snowman. Still pretty cool, but not a stunt according to Barbie, or Teresa in this case. Next up, holding circle. You're great. It is different. It's a different, it's a different jump. I've learned a thing today. I've learned about long grinds. I've learned about so stunting. I cannot, I cannot physically get past this ramp anymore. There we go. I will now try the X button that, according to the manual, the also so does stunts. It, I don't see the difference. It looks identical to a regular jump to me. I once again feel lied to, but at least... Alright, okay, that that button doesn't work anymore either for tricks. I don't understand this game. It truly is a mystery. All in all, it's a weird one. But I'm happy to have gotten my good job trophies. And that's really what else is there to say. Alright, I'm gonna be honest. I can't find a credit sequence, so uh, this is the credits now. It's It's the screen. Scrolling slightly to the down right. Press the X button here. There you go. Adjust the screen That's position. the credits. I don't know who made this. RuneCraft made it. In the top left it says Barb Super Sports. It doesn't have room. It's all it's alright. It's an alright little game. I got okay trophies. What else can you really ask for? Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> and bye bye. Load a save game or change the game options. Use the directional buttons on your controller to highlight your choice. Then press...